Welcome everyone to the Peasants Podcast. Get comfortable as we sit by the fire and chat everything Daisy. We will be joined by our podcast team, TikTok creator Smiley's Got a Gun. Uh, both our long-term players, Mr. Ada KQ and Nora are away today. And of course, we've got our lovely chat moderator, Queen Peasant. Don't forget, people in chat and those in the comment section, drop your thoughts and your opinions on our subjects. Uh, we also may have a few special guests in our group chat, which we do. We have uh, Project Lemons and Mr. Brandon stepping in. So that's going to be absolutely wicked. As I said, we've got uh, our guest this week is Bigfoot. He's from the Arcade Discord. So we're going to dive in and find out about that. But we'd like to welcome you all to the Peasants Podcast. So plenty happened this week in the Daisy world. The devs decided to throw up a stream, give us a sneak peek of what's going to come next update. Uh, after we talk to our guests and introduce our guests to find out a little bit more, we're going to dive right into um, the what the devs released on their little stream. And maybe some stuff that you picked up that we missed. We'd love to hear what you have to say. But let's get on with it. Uh, got a... Got more guests than panel this week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've got Mr. Noah. It's and a guest takeover. It's a guest takeover. Ooh, guest. shit. <laughs> We're in shit here. Uh, we've got Mr. Noah and Mr. Q away today. Um, don't know where Noah is. MIA probably gamed all day because he was up for a while and then crashed out. Yeah. Um, which is, sounds like what Bruv was doing. Um, rolling on uh, M4 PvP, her latest creation. Um, all in the name, apparently. All in the name. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Um, our, I guess, guest panels is, uh, in a witch's hat, we have Brandon. And in just ahead, once again, we have this Project Lemons. <laughs> <laughs> he likes his floating heads and on our very right we have uh bigfoot from the arcade welcome bro hello how's it going how's it going no there we go <laughs> sorry <I> thought... <laughs> it mike's, it for, yeah. mike's goes <laughs> <laughs> bruv comes in with a fill-in mic um <laughs> i got you i got you and of course, our regular panel member, uh, Smile's got a gun. How are you, bruv? You going all right? A little tired? Went in. Pretty good. A little tired, but, you know, that's just norm. That's the norm for the podcast. Uh, yeah, a little <laughs> tired, but not too bad. Too Feeling tired. a little rough. Oh, that's all right. That's good. Yeah. And, uh, totally worth it. I had, had a good night with some friends. It was a good, good time. And always a good day's these sessions like that. Um a good run through where you just lose time and all of a sudden you see the crack of the sun creep through the blinds and think, fuck, I did it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's definitely one of those nights. It's definitely one of those nights. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to dive into uh, the introduction of our guests. So Mr Bigfoot rolls and operates the arcade. A Daisy uh, Discord that promotes quite a lot of different varieties of things. Uh, basically, a c community network um, from everything from tools to streamers to promotional networks to kill feeds to uh, all sorts of um, other communities that are out there um, helping the people build a better Daisy server. Um, do you want to give us a, a little bit more of a rundown of what your server is about? Uh, you pretty much nailed it on the head. I mean, yeah. it's, it, it, it um, started out as a, as a text to you and a text to a few other people. But mainly, I, I remember texting you and saying, man, I got an idea, and I don't want to step on your feet. And... Um, kind of like what you're doing but it's not what you're doing whatsoever and it just grew from there 
basically I just I created a Rolodex of everything a owner would need to uh, create a server basically so for example you I mean you're you're promotional um, Josie he's a modder freaking I've got artists I've got every aspect of of Daisy in the arcade we cover that so basically from the beginning of the arcade it was what I preached to people including freaking Mr. Lemon here was it, it it boils down to man you got to have a lot of degrees to run a freaking DayZ server I say degrees I mean it means like you got to be an artist <laughs> You got to be a coder. You got to be an editor. You've got to be all these different aspects of this freaking game, and be one person and be able to have this. It's very hard to do that. So, why not collect all these um, tools, basically these degreed guys that are very good at what they're doing in one location where owners can come to get that and because I mean I know this um, only because I was an owner I, I started out as an owner um, and learned what I had to have to make it succeed and it, man it, it takes a lot of freaking work am I allowed to cuss on here oh yeah okay it takes a lot of fucking work to do what we're doing it takes a lot of freaking 100%. hours to sit here and 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 make an active server. I mean, um, yeah, uh, Mr. Tusum says the best uh, a po politician to deal with players. <laughs> 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 Babysitters that deal with players. Yes. Yep. Um, but I mean, it, it it takes a lot to do it. I mean, it's 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 not just uh, hey, I want to spend thirty bucks a month and pay for a server and and have an active server. And that's you're wasting your money if that unless you're just playing with your friends. And that's a whole other thing. I mean, that's that's good and great. If you want to buy a server, to just play with three or four of your friends. Get after it. You know. Um, I. I I can, you can have the same thing, the biggest, baddest, freaking ass server out there has. Just come to the arcade, and I'll set you up with the same shit they have. And you and your three little friends can go play in whatever, you know, in your little server. Um, it, it, I really don't care, you know. What I do care about is keeping the game alive, because if I if let this game fail... Probably, I'm not gonna be able to, um, to learn another game to the point that I've learned this game. You know, I mean, during my life, I've, I can say I've, I've excelled in Battlefield and I excelled in Call of Duty and I, I excelled in, in DayZ. But I, man, I don't know if I want to learn another game. You know, <laughs> hey, dude, at this point. What are you like a hundred? You got time? <laughs> no, but I mean, no, even, even if you're fifty there. years. Even if you're 50 or 60, at 50 or 60, do you waste the rest of your life freaking playing video games? Or do you go out and um, you see what's out there, you know? Oh, fingers you crossed. You enjoy the rest of your life. Because you know? to me, I, I know what Daisy is to me. And um, what is I know what most you? video games, what's, excuse me? What is Daisy to you? I'm getting there. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry, we will get up to it. And I don't have this wrote down, Lemon. I know you probably think I have it wrote down, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, I actually thought that too. No, but, but well, I mean, Lemon set through these conversations with me, man, for three seconds of freaking arcade, uh, let's make your server active type things, you know? And it was like, uh, it. Daisy to me is, is a way, a form of... Uh, handling depression and uh it's, it's all of us probably have some little 
thing that's in our life that keeps us here. And, um, man, I've, I've went through what I've went through with lemon with at least three other, 300 other owners where it's like, you get one-on-one -on -one with these owners. You're talking one-on-one -on -one with these people, getting to know them and uh, what they're about, uh, what kind of character they're, what their jobs are, what everything about these people. It all boils down to one thing. They all have a, a problem. And that's another thing they, that the arcade's here for. I mean, it's like, Dang. like I've always been able to sit there and help these people and, um, to, you know, just be a, an ear to listen and just being able to sit there and listen to these people has helped me so much in my life because you know it's like I'm not the only one with a problem there's a lot of people out there that have problems and um, I'm able to sit there and talk with these owners and see that you know I'd say about 95% of these owners have problems. And, um, that's very interesting. I'm there that, to listen. That, that, um, not only is the Discord Daisy orientated, but it also becomes a, like a, a small support network for other people, help people reach out. Exactly. Um, yep. I mean, it's. Do you think that's the part of the Discord that creates the most impact? Mm, not at all. It's probably, uh, it, I would say, it's just the, the, I mean, the most impact, would I say that's, I was going to say giveaways, because everybody loves pizza, but, yeah. uh, um, yeah, I would say so. I, I, I'd say that the impact would be the relationships that I create with, by doing this. Um, cause I, man, I've met some amazing people that are just like, I, I hate to say this to all of them. I mean, they're, if they even get to hear this, if they do listen to this, some yeah. of them are fucked up, you know, I'm fucked up. There's a lot of us are fucked up. And like I said, I mean, yes, that's, that's a big impact. If I'm able to sit there and listen to these people and. Give them a freaking I hope at the end of the tunnel. It's hell, hell yeah, it's worth it. Um, Do you think it's because like people feel more comfortable like talking online, you know, sort of behind a headset and well, to a degree to strangers, and that they that's um, why they will talk a bit more openly about what's happening in their life. Um. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I mean, some of these people I've talked to, and it's like you can tell they're. I mean, they've they've gotten to the point where they're latching out and talking to other people in real life too. Because, and and I do. I'll and I'll be straight with you, but I, I can't remember. I told. Oh, I know who I told. Told Boydie this the other day. We were talking, Boydie from. Um, survivor uh, lemon yep i was talking to him and we were he was his first time we ever talked and he basically um i, I pitched it like this i ran over somebody of, about 10 years ago okay like with a car <laughs> killed him um i didn't kill him okay and that was the first question i asked after after it i was the third person in line to hit this person okay so i went through a big freaking um depression thing okay well i went to a psychologist okay and psychologist said to me this goes back to you smiley the psychologist said the best thing that i can do for the shit that happened to me to tell my story okay so by me going out and telling my story it basically gets it off my back okay well when you're playing daisy and you run into somebody like me that's nice and polite you can say the right things yes they're going to be very comfortable with what I, the way i talk to them and they're going to go yeah i'm going to tell you my story and that's what i want them to do i want them to sit there and tell them tell me their story 
because I know the fucking pain that they're going through. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, so, 100%. I, I, know, I know the pain because I've already been there. And if I can help them by doing that, break out, break it off. I don't give a shit what you're going to say to me. Go to somebody last week, go for it. Don't care. I just need to hear it. And you need to get it off your back. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's... No, that's, that's definitely a big part of helping the community and, and really taking it to the next level. Um, yeah, right, there are plenty of people out there, you know, struggling. Uh, we we opened the show yeah. for conversations. We've talked about the price of petrol, the price of milk. Um, and a lot of the people on here are parents or, you know, older generation that's that's out here paying for servers and you know trying to escape the world uh by playing our busted ass game um yeah. so no that's that is uh definitely a different side of the um the discord that i wasn't too aware of and that's you know that's that's pretty <laughs> pretty wicked that you're out there you know touching base with people you know, finding out people's stories, getting to know them, uh, you know, opening up and, and allowing people to open up. Um, gotcha. Yeah, it's definitely pretty cool. Uh, you did mention yeah, give, gi told... giveaways and pizzas. Uh, yeah. um, do you want to elaborate on your events and your giveaways that you do? I just, um, I'm to the point where The arcade is basically going to start bringing in players, okay? And the arcade has always been like an owner base slash um, but like you base, okay? Uh, I've never had it as a player base. I've never drawn in actual players to, to the arcade. So that's the goal now. It's basically I'm going to bring in players and... Because I have owners that are in this place that have servers, and I need to fill their servers. I need to make partners with these guys. I need to um, get them comfortable and knowing that, hey, I don't want your players. I just want your players that aren't playing your server because it's the wrong type of server that they're wanting to play. Mm. All of us server owners, they're... We all offer a different service. We all offer a different type of ice cream, okay? I need to give the right ice cream to all the little Johnnies, okay? To all the little boys. And that's what the arcade's going to be. It's basically going to, I'm bringing these players in so I can say, you know, hey, you need to go here, you need to go there, you need to go there. And at the same time, I still get to freaking do what I'm trying to do. Still trying, I still get to meet people. Still get to talk to people. Somebody needs a helping hand, I'll listen to them, talk to them. What's the pizza for? Everybody likes pizza. I give free shit away, you know? Who doesn't like free shit? Free is like the greatest thing in the world in this day and age. It's, 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 it's unheard of. It's got to be wrong. If it's free, it's wrong, right? So... That's what they, the, they say that. <laughs> There's warning bells around free stuff. Don't don't take the free yeah. stuff. There's a yeah. catch. There's always a catch. There's always yeah, a catch. Yeah, just enter your credit oh, card number. That's it. Right. No, there's there's not. I'll need your social security number. That's it. Yeah. How do you get this? We're to, the, <laughs> we're to the point where it's like, hey, we're gonna make some apparel, we're gonna get some free shirts out. Why? Because we can. Who gives a shit? You know? And, um, you know, does anybody want it? I don't know. Who gives a shit? You know, it's fun. It's something different to do. And they like it. They like it. They don't. They don't. You know, give it the goodwill. But um, it's starting a YouTube channel. I've, I've always been scared to death of YouTube. I'm, you know, it, it's just another step. I guess my next video game is YouTube. You know, yep. I um, play the, I uh, play the multimedia, the uh, social media run. 
Get that content yeah. out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's greeting. I sent you a video. I mean, oh, that's you have that's some patience. That's basically what so I'm gonna do. Is I'm you gonna... have some patience. Yeah, yeah, and um, uh, it'll be a little bit of everything. It's basically what it'll be. But and everything I create, it'll be in the arcade for free and. Um, Apparently, we're doing like these, like uh, QR codes. These QR codes uh, that I hand make and freaking, yeah, they took some time to make them. Um, uh, we've got a little video. Basically, here. what I'm going to do, with, huh? Got a little video here of it. Oh yeah, it's, it, it is a, a definitely a long process. Yeah, get the uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these little little well it's not little most of the builds are you know an hour or so long but um definitely a couple of hours worth in that long. couple right. of hours worth you know, it gets your, you know you sit there and make that thing and it's your head thinking you know and um and you're learning you know i i'm The more you practice at anything, the better you get at it, you know. So, editor, I'm not the greatest editor. I suck at editing. Um, but I have a lot of patience. And I mean, you can see from that video, I've got an extreme amount of uh, patience. I was a flooring contractor for, for 30 years, and I'm still a general contractor. But, um, um, yeah, I laid tile for 30 freaking years. And... All this pixel stuff that I'm doing is, um, and you haven't seen anything yet. It's um, tire work. You all this pixel a, stuff that make I'm, a bathroom floors. Yeah. 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 That's 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 what I did for for 30 years. I showers and grocery stores and malls and schools and putting those little tiles one after another. Uh, you know, that's, that's right <laughs> down my alley. 30 years of codes. building you to uh, sit on editor for hours and hours <laughs> early in the morning. <laughs> yeah. And that's been that's your it. your future run. Um, Rob, do you have any questions that you'd like to ask? Um, yeah, well, so when you said about how, like, there was this, this was... Like, so that was the initial drive to set this up was to have sort of a link with the community, like a, a place, like a hub for yeah. people to to connect. So that, uh -huh. And and so what was your, like, first... Because you mentioned, like, so we've got, like, streamers and server owners and what have you. Um, who, was your, who was your first connection? Who was your, your first sort of person that you said hey let's do this let's like but 
I missed the very last part. Who's the fir very first person that what? That you got involved in your uh, on your arcade. Who was your who was your person that you went, you know, reached um, out to and said, hey. To help me or to. Like you, you like Brub's my your first you know, client. Greedy is my. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of people. I gotta analyze this really well. Yeah. What I mean is, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, do you have your your own like your small circle to start with? Like, who's your who's your OGs? Who's your mm, oh, who did I and, help the and most? What, uh, yeah, and who did, like who's your first peeps that you got in? So we have our OG, what we call the OG uh, console cult, and uh, uh -huh. you know because we've we've played together for years and we've and we've you know just built up this close friendship. So yeah, who's your who's your little like your your besties, I guess? Who's your who's click? Your, who are you closest with? Who's your click? Who's your click? You broke him, bro. Everyone in the arcade. Oh, uh, yep. I, I mean, I. There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of people. Uh, who's my besties? I mean, who would I? Who do I? Who can I pick up the phone and say, uh, "Hey, let's go play tomorrow night." And honestly, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't play enough to do that. Hey, Brandon, I, I'll hit Brandon up anytime. Say, "Hey, let's go play." But, I mean, as far as playing, I've gotten to the point where if I'm playing, um, I'll, I'll play by myself. I'll, I'll go out and get on official, and I'll play on official and meet someone and talk to someone. And um, bring them to the arcade. And by yeah, the time nice. I've left official. Mm -hmm. And... He's gone to um, from player to pr promoter. Yeah, basically. Yep. Seems and, to happen with that. And all it is is, I mean, that that goes back from to to when I played official. When I played official, did like everyone else probably did in the beginning. Once you learn the game, it's kind of like, hey, I want to make a. I want all the great things about Capini and official server, and it's really really hard to do that and. You know, I I got really good with um, I'd go to the you know, players online and I'd go right down the list, contact every one of them, and try to get them to join a Discord. Uh, when I came to um, official, no, when I when I left official and came to community, I had a Discord of 75 members that I had met in an official server. Okay. Or uh, that I grew a Discord to 75 members in an official server of just which, official players. Exactly, and that's a lot. That's really freaking hard because out of 75 people that you met, you've probably talked to 350 people just trying to get them to join that Discord. Okay, at least 300. I'd say probably 500. Um, it's really hard to to build a Discord on an official server get them to join a community on a server, on an official server. It seems Facebook uh, is... When I left... Oh, yeah. Sorry, Brock, go ahead. I'll just say I'll that again. Say that, um, um, Facebook seems to be the biggest drive for official servers more than the Discord yeah. world. They're still stuck in that Facebook world. Yeah, yeah and definitely. I'm not even in Facebook, so it's like... I miss the whole Facebook thing. I've never, like, I've asked the team, you know, hey, if y'all are in the Facebook thing, do the Facebook thing for me. Because I'm not going to do it. And, um, yes, that totally helps you. Uh, all the social media, as far as growing your servers, yes. Anything you can do to help your server grow, get after it, you know. 100%. And Chase it all. It, it's, Yeah. Who gives a shit what it is? Post it, you know, and it's not gonna hurt. Just post it. Um, yes, um, 
the arcade, I mean, yes, we still go out and talk to owners and um, haven't done it in a long time. I've been really busy, but um, and you get to the point where you can just tell by the texts that are coming in from owners if they're what type of owner they are, you know, and um, if they need an ear, you know, you can, I, I can, I, and I used to be able to do this in, in uh, looking for group spots. I, I could talk to somebody for about 15 minutes and in about 15 minutes, I could tell you um, a lot of information about yourself. And basically I was analyzing these people and, that's kind of what, you know, I want to scare people off from joining the arcade, but that's what I do. I read the, I read every freaking message that comes through the arcade. I might not say nothing, but I read it all. And, uh, yeah, even to my team, they're getting analyzed every freaking day. Um, so they'd say, better be pulling your wife, otherwise a part you're right out. Part, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a part of their life, you know. <laughs> when, you, when you're with someone in game for freaking three or four years, you, and then you analyze, and then you stalk them. That's it. If if you're with somebody for three or four years in game, you you grow a, a relationship with these players. You know, so and, they become part of your um, family. Exactly. Yeah. They're your and, pixel family. Yeah, and it's it's um that that's why I'm like Psh, I'll listen I'll listen to anybody and you got a problem I can talk hang on <laughs> that's it and uh, this is his Discord right here if you want to get involved and uh, head across Facebook link greedy. It. I mean, if you if you could pitch that fish Facebook link, bro, that's um, uh, you know, that's that's my next biggest adventure is is going out on Facebook and diving out into the Facebook. I realm. forget about Facebook. Yeah, I forget oh, about. I'm sorry. It. I'm sorry. YouTube, 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 YouTube. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that'll be um. That's it, yeah. it, 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 it's like anything. It's kind of like you put your heart and soul in it, and and, and either it happens or it doesn't happen. But well, that's the way it goes. Uh, um, does any of goes. our fill-in uh, panel like to ask our guests any questions? There you go. Put them on the spot. How's that one, bruv? <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, fucking <laughs> hey, lads. You're yeah, sitting in the chairs, we want the questions. You feel, you're warming up for Noah <laughs> and you're warming up for Q. <laughs> you're sitting there eating you scrambled any, eggs and having any coffee? I don't know. That's what Can't I say anything. No, all right. Um, well, that's a, that's a very interesting terrible, little... Terrible, guys, terrible. You're fucking fired. Yeah, that's terrible. it. <laughs> Definitely the Philly. You're going to have to get some, some better subs. Um, <laughs> but uh, we appreciate you sharing about your Discord. As I said, get out there if you're promoting your Discord, uh, your server, if you're a graphics artist, doesn't matter what you do for the DayZ community, get involved in the arcade. Uh, we're going to head down to the group conversation, let Bruv do her business down there. So, actually, well, speaking of, uh, Brandon, that was, uh, that was Podium. Appreciate that. That's one of the words, podium. So I'll put it in the chat. Anyone can tell me what podium. Actually, for the new peeps that have just jumped into the chat that were here last week, because you were away sick, that's the only reason why you wouldn't be here last week. Correct. It's because you're on your podium. deathbed. Isn't that something but... you stand behind when you're giving a speech? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty well. Yeah. So we're... Uh, we're analysing the new generation of Daisy players. We're, we're talking about uh, Generation Alpha. So they're peeps that are born between the year 2010 and 2024. Uh, so because we've got this nice young little generation coming through, we don't actually understand what they're saying. We 
don't understand their language. So it's a language lesson. So when you come across these new they keep uh, asking me about my cap. generation alphas. I keep telling them, yes, I'm a cap wearer. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was the generation before. Oh, okay. Uh, no, 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 I remember. I don't yeah. know. Get it right. Get it right. They were the bet people, remember? They were the... Yeah, bet. Like, that's Noah's generation. Bet and bet. cap. This yeah, is the next yeah. generation. This is the next one. Okay. All right, what's so podium? podium? Okay, so podium means something really good. Pretty well in a nutshell. So that's podium. Oh my God, that's so podium. Yeah, so something. <laughs> I don't. Did I say that wrong? I don't say so podium. <laughs> okay, fine. Brandon will now use it in a sentence. How do I use podium, Brandon? I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard that before. No, no, that no, no. <laughs> Let's check uh, Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Urban Dictionary, podium. And why? Why these guys are doing their homework that they should have yeah. done. What's the next word? Next word is... Next word is bop. Bop. Bop's an old one. You're a Well, it's come back into fashion, allegedly. Bop Me is like one that is... Yeah. Major on what? Used. It's a little bit controversial. Controversial. Bop. It's uh, it can mean something as thank you, Brandon. See, cleaning the pipes. I appreciate. You're a bop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a bop in a uh, relation to Generation Alpha is someone who posts a lot of selfies, uh, and also a bit of a. I won't use the S word. I'll just say tart. Very friendly with the boys. And post a lot of selfies. Oh yeah. It's sort of like the the female, sort of like the female Sigma <coughs> in a way, I guess. Thinking that, like, uh, but they get yeah, right into themselves, so, and yeah, so that's a bop. That's a bop. And now, victory spam. We did we did skibbity toilet riz last week. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we did that. Well, we didn't say Riz because I assume, I didn't add in Riz because I assumed that everyone knew what Riz was. Riz has been around for a long time, right? Everyone yeah. Knows what Riz is. Um, all right. Now, this one is exciting. This is my favorite. Eight. Yeah, we did Phantom Tax too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did Phantom Tax. Actually, did we do the meeting of Phantom, Phantom Tax? We yeah. mentioned it. Phantom, Phantom Tax is... Um, it's basically stealing. Yep. He's stealing something. That's phantom tax. Yeah, we, I call it uh, dad, dad tax. <laughs> <laughs> dad tax. Yeah, we did mewing. Yes, we, we did mewing. Yeah, that's the chin thing. Yeah, we did mewing. Victory, we, you should have been here last week. That's it. Week, last yeah? week, you could have been the king of alphas. Of Ohio. <laughs> Ohio. Ohio. We did Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, so eight is uh, doing it, doing something with style, like um, yeah, like you, you know, really awesome fashion or music. Yeah, like she ate. Yeah, Brandon's totally eight right now. I've, I've heard that a lot, of, like <laughs> dancing too. Like if they dance well, like you know, like she ate, you know, or he ate, or. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's like look at that, so like Brandon. So he, he, yeah. he, so ate. he ate. <laughs> you ate him. Yeah. He's a good shot. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Do we say, do we just say he ate, or do we go he? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he ate. ate. There's, I don't think there's a plural for it. That, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what's the next thing which doesn't <laughs> yeah. make sense? <laughs> All right. Next one is a negative aura. You got to say it like that too. Oh negative aura. <laughs> that's not cool. Yeah, negative aura is not cool. He's stepping on the fire, he just lost all of his aura. It's like, you're giving me neg aura right now. Mine is a million aura. Everywhere. So that is, yeah. I'm upsetting you. Yeah, yeah. As I was saying, no, no, it's I like... don't give a shit, harden up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I like negative aura, that's one of my faves. Uh, and also we've got, um, oh yeah, 
Last one. Uh, op. Well, it's not. Uh, uh, oh no, we did it op, didn't we? Did we do it op? We did Bob. No, we didn't. No, we, we didn't. Did, no, yeah, yeah, we did we OPP. Did OPP. Yeah. OPP. Yeah, OPP. Yeah, 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 we did OPP. Yeah, so yeah, I remember that's that right, one. That's right. So is that someone you don't like? That's yeah, right. No, it's yeah, not. We did do that one. It's not. We did all those. OPP, Give me, totally different. Uh, we did brain rot. Yep. I think we've done oh, it. Yeah, do. Oh, did you do uh, Sigma? Negative aura. Uh, yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah, we did Sigma. We did Giga Chad. Yep. Uh, Skibbity toilet. Tweaking. Tweaking. Tweaking is like acting weird. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we've done. Oh, and glazing? beta. English. Beta. Yeah, <laughs> like, well. It means that you're weak, or that's an insult if someone calls you beta. You're weak, and it's yeah, it's a, it's a, it's bad. It's yeah, hundred percent. You're not you guys, alpha. Uh, you're beta. You're beta. Yeah. Did you guys do uh, glazing? Glazing? Ooh. Yeah, tell us what glazing is. Brandon, you want to talk about that? <laughs> what's what's <laughs> glazing, Brandon? <laughs> glazing and gooning. And gooning. <laughs> Gooning, yeah. Oh, there you go. Gooning. There you go, bro. That's your homework for next week. <laughs> glazing oh, and gooning. Great. It's so hard. You just got given homework. Oh, yeah, we did oh. stick. Just use them in a Sigma. sentence for me. Sigma's yeah. a car. We worked that one out. <laughs> uh, oh, Giat. I don't. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Morning, Queen. All right, that's uh, yeah. that's Brav's homework. You got three words now. All a, right, a all right. Giat, yeah. whatever that all is. Right. Some weird shit that to talk, but as, right. as we said, we talked shit when we were young, and <coughs> people thought that we were strange, and now it's Generation A's turn to make up their words and to put their style on language. Very interesting. Word. Very interesting. What was the other one? Gear, glazing, and what was that third one? Oh, uh, gooning. Uh, gooning. Gooning, that's what yeah. I was thinking of. Hey, Ford. you guys! I'm gooning. sure that's gooning. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be gooning, right? First thing that popped into my Fuck head. Oh, straight up. <laughs> cool bananas, that's it. It See? was me in 1996. That's it. Fucking hey, you guys! I was gooning. All right. Another little rundown for you for the new latest languages coming out of the mouths of the next generation of DayZ players. Um, mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are so going learn it, to... Use it in a sentence and get it. out there in DayZ land. Get out there and abuse your them. Let's, let's stop talking about whether <laughs> I whether I wear a cap or not. <laughs> it's cap. It's cap. Ah. All the way. W aura. <laughs> <laughs> he's just getting used to cap and they're changing That's it on it. him. He's, he's sticking with it. I'll, though, st I'll, st I'm sticking with cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bet. <laughs> right, and thank you. All right. And uh, yeah. So let's dive into um, the little dev stream that kicked off uh, from our lovely devs that like to tease us with what's going to come out in experimental next <coughs> um queen on the hunt for the bots thank you um so plenty of changes she was like off out. with his head and always is straight away i can't even get a chance to get into them <laughs> off with their heads uh update 1.26 did anyone catch uh the stream or the rundown Um, cut bits and pieces, and yep. uh, oh, uh, one thing I did see that I have a question about is, uh, so the server list, so the server list I saw said Chinoors and Livonia's, like their names on the, on the, uh, what type of server they were, what, was I seeing PC list, or, or are they going to have that? And uh, it also said that we're going to have the ability that there's going to be like a box that basically you'll be able to describe your server in that list. Is console going to have that available to us? Oh, because that's know. like 
I didn't say anything about that. That's like, I know wow. For sure. I know, right? I barely caught it in a Wabo <laughs> video last night. Um, and it was just like, wow, that's cool to be able to describe your server to somebody before they even enter it. That's, um, that's really good for us. And the for them to bring back the Chinor Slavonia name thing. That's, that's really important. When they took that away from us, I was like, and I bet a lot on that. I, I, I made a 50 slot server just because I thought before this last update that it was distinctly, you know, before we used to have a green dot on our Livonia servers. Yep. They took that away. But when they took that away from me, it was like, damn, I had a lot on that dot. And, um, it's, they're going to, I, I just hope they bring that ability back to have it Livonia or Genoa. So. Yeah, definitely. But the box, is, that's es cool too. Especially with the third server coming out, they're definitely going to have to identify, uh, the third map coming out, they're definitely yeah. going to have to identify it. Uh, anything else that anyone wants to I'll highlight to before we dive video. into it? So to answer your question, I know for sure that uh, the map list is coming to console, like uh, to see what's uh, maps on the server. But if there's going to be a description thing, that'd probably be through Nitrato. But I'm not sure if that's going to be a uh, console thing or not. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that that'd be cool. But you'd be able to say, you know. Especially with the all server bruv, you know, has M4s, do you have a keyboard, and are you under 18? <laughs> <laughs> your voice broken? Uh, uh, are you sweaty? <laughs> Skibbity. <laughs> Skibbity toilet, Riz. <laughs> Skibbity toilet, Riz, joint here. That's it, Bob, negative aura. Press start. <laughs> no, neg no negative aura. <laughs> um, <laughs> no beta play. No. Nope. Let's go. Uh, so the wolf head. <laughs> the wolf head is coming. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. That's going to be pretty sick. Um, yeah. What do you think of the application of it? I heard if you can't, it, or w from what I saw, it's kind of like if you shoot it in the head, you're not going to get a wolf mask, you know. But the application of it, I mean, were you saying how you put it on? Yeah, you just um, cut its head off and stick it on your head. Yeah. Oh, really? You don't have to do any crafting? <laughs> no. Well, no tanning, no, no. nothing. What no. the fuck? <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> not even with a little sewing kit. No, not even tie a string to its hair, to its ears to be able to tie it <laughs> under, your, under your chin. Yep, it just... That's and then on, disgusting. On top of that, I mean, they're tainting um, wolf and bear meat. So I, I, mean, I that's, like um, this. I really, really yeah, like... I like that too. So there might yeah, be a get, chance that wolf and bear meat may be infected, so you can't eat it, or you get yeah. very sick oh, from it's it. It's got like worms or some shit. Yeah, it might get some sort of bug in it. Yeah. Right. Hey, I wonder if they're gonna mark it as you know tainted meat or non-tainted meat. You know, but if they mark it, oh, it just, I, I yeah. guess that screws up the risk. I'd rather just have but the risk of If you're cooking it, doesn't it isn't that killing bacteria though? If you well, cook it? Well I think it's more the fact it? of um well I think spam said I hope this infected meat on the bears and wolves are a chance rather than hundred percent every time you eat it. because uh, that's gonna get annoying. Um but from what I had a look from it it looks like it's a hundred percent. They're predatory animals. They're gonna be eating infected. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, an infected bear oh, and infected wolves right. is, yeah. is a nice line into it. Also, how many times do we hear wolves and go, oh, look, Uber Eats? They're right. Mm. Because, because it's not a big issue, especially if you've got two or three people and you've got uh, plenty of ammunition and, a lot, you know, the right weaponry. Wolves are just uh, right. well, as bad as infected. So... Yeah, there's a few times wolves have saved me where I think my gameplay would have got a lot more hectic if I didn't, I couldn't eat the wolves. Right. And it's curable. So, what's so I mean, if you're prepared oh, anyway, yeah, so it doesn't, 
yeah. it, it doesn't matter if you know you're prepared anyway. It said that it but was the way they, from uh, what I heard it said it was curable. Yeah. And the way they said it too, it kinda of sounds like they're doing a completely welcome, new like uh, illness for, for the ride. separate from uh, the stuff we like they have in uh currently, so Oh. Okay. Give us the new give, have the, did they give us the new medication? I know they did for the um, heavy metal poisoning, but I'm not sure. I think you can just use, like, uh, tetracycline for this one. I think it's probably going to be parasites. They just soak it in coke, well, yeah, and that I mean... just gets rid of the parasites and gets rid of all that stuff. <laughs> so that's how you do it. Yeah. Just let me get a co uh, well, I mean, look at black bears, you know? out. You know, a lot of black bears have a uh, roundworm, you know, and that's a real thing, so... It'd be interesting to see something like that in Daisy. Mm. Oh, like, imagine uh, like you cut up a bear, yeah, and all these worms just come out. <laughs> and then you put it, its head on your head. <laughs> <laughs> You've got these worms sticking Blooded out of it. worms dripping off your face. <laughs> Go and look what I made, Mum. Get a friend to pee on it. <laughs> <laughs> pee on your bear steak to get rid of the parasites. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, also, two of the new animals are coming out. I, I suspect that's why they showcased it in the last dev blog. Uh, sorry, the one beforehand. The fox and the hare will be on servers. So you'll be able to see them walk around being cute and uh, put a crossbow into them and cook them up. Will they um, only be on the new map or all servers? Like when they're released, are they going to be across the board, like released on all servers, so like the, official? They'll be on. Yeah. They'll be on Vanilla? official, and they'll be on Livonia and Chinaris. Next update. That would be all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Any of that? That's pretty cool. Any of those little things like that they can do? I mean, that's it's keeping us here. Well, that's it. It's good to Speaking see of, how much uh, it's progressed. Yeah. Speaking of animals and hunting, they're also adding the uh, the new trapping mechanics. Like they're completely overhauling the uh, the fishing traps and like the snares and stuff, and they'll be adding like new animations and effects and all that good stuff. So we'll actually see the hair trapped in the hair trap. They didn't specify, but they said there will be like uh, visual notifiers to show the player that uh, something's been trapped. Mm, cool. Yeah. That's so it. we see a tiny little bunny going, ah, ah, uh, s ah. squealing its head off while it's being suffocated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice. it still will be simulated. But you don't do that, bro. You just shoot them. You know, get a 308 and a tundra and put it into the rabbit and watch it. I'm sure you get plenty of meat out of it. Yeah. I don't know, there's some status in this community. Pretty sure that they'd, uh... <laughs> see a little buddy trapped. Hey, actually, can we cut off their feet and have them as good luck? Is that a thing yet, or not? I don't know. Maybe. Where does a keychain? I don't, I... Keychain on your backpack? <laughs> That's like it. Like exactly what I was thinking, Lemons. Great minds, great minds. Or what, what do you have on, um, COD? The little... Uh, little keychains that hang off the the sides of your guns oh, <laughs> as yeah. earrings. And if I play lazy, wants them as earrings. <laughs> do we get to <laughs> do we get to tan them out, or are we just doing what's um, what's the the wolf's doing and just cutting it straight its head straight off and just plonking it on ours? Yeah, <laughs> that, that's weird. Uh, the she mark. Uh, have you seen that? It's like a hood or a scarf. So you can use it as a hood or you can have it down as a scarf. Looks super cool. Oh. Yeah, so it's like the Indiana Jones thing they wear in Temple of Doom where it sits around his neck but they also pull it up over their head. So you can have wear it in two positions which I think is going to be pretty cool. New little item to it. Does that come in a variety of uh, colors? Co co comes and... in a variety of colors yep. too, bruv. They actually put some color in it. Nice. Nice. So that's good. Yep. Uh, the fishing changes will come in. 
So the new fishing mechanics? What's your thoughts on this? No longer just chuck the line in, hold the button until you hope and pray that you don't get uh, another set of gum boots. Like, is it going to be like sort of like uh, like Minecraft, where you have to like sort of give it a tug, you know? Like it's, it's exactly like, like Minecraft, yeah. Yep. <sighs> oh, it is. Yeah. Right. Nice. I don't think that's good. I actually struggled that when I start first started playing Daisy. I kept doing that. So, and you'll actually see like yeah. the water start splashing too when you uh, cast the uh, line, and there's like a bite on it. <gasps> really? Yep. So a little red yeah. dead. Oh. Um, yeah, nice. Also, there's a lure and a wooden hook you can craft, so you can get a knife and a stick, and craft your wooden hook, or you can find a lure, so no bait. Can and we now shoot you the fish out like we can uh, on? Oh, Red I wish. Dead. Like Can we shoot or him? throw a grenade? <laughs> throw grenade. A grenade. Just yeah. grenade. Get a pot. Grenade cooking. <laughs> Fishing. I still want to catch cooker pots. Yeah, I want to catch cooker pots. It's always a good way on hardcore servers to get a cooking pot. Just to catch them out of ponds. So I think the big change I'm looking forward to is they're letting you, um, instead of having to craft the like, worms with the fishing hooks, you'll just be able to mount it onto it like an, atta like an attachment. So you won't have to craft it every single time. So the really? preps, the preps a little tedious. bit, um, yeah, the preps a little bit f faster, but catching it's just going to be a little bit more skill based. It's like when can you hit the prompt? Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, it's not too bad. So the heat buff changes will come in. So we talked about a little bit last week on the podcast about the heat buff changes where rather than just sitting next to the fire like we're doing and getting a heat buff, it'll be an overtime comfortability where you'll need to have a few fires, you'll need to eat warm food, you'll have to be in warm clothes to be able to be comfortable. Um, I think that's going to be an, a, a wicked change. Um especially for a lot of servers, uh, a lot more progression uh, able to be established in hardcore servers. So rather than just having one or two uh, story times, bruv, we'll, be able, we'll have to stop purposely to keep our comfortability up. Mm. And not just I'm because we're this. desperate. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> Nizoi to Berenzino won't take three hours, it'll take seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, now, like if you've got a lot of practice in that. Yeah, and also when you butcher something, the meat will actually be still warm. Ooh. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So you could yeah, gross but cool. Do the Jedi Jabberwocky and if someone's cold, cut up a deer and stuff them full of deer, warm deer, get them to warm up. And human meat too? Does that go for human meat as well? Uh, I'm assuming so. It depends how warm the human is. If they freeze to death, maybe not. I don't know if it'd be a uh, if if you could get a human standing next to a fire. Get them to a really high heat. Warm them up. And then, <laughs> and then murder them. Or the other way, put them outside in the freezing cold and then see if they're... We'll have to, we'll have to do that experiment. Can we get someone really we hot and then murder them and will their meat be warmer? Uh, yep. Brendan, slots. lock in the day. Item slots will Here. change. So... Some what item yeah. sizes and some clothing will get their item slots changed. What you, what's your thoughts on this one? I thought this was a big one. Oh. How do you feel about the uh, the hunter vest? Because they changed that from I think it was thirty two slots to it's gonna be sixteen now yeah. after the update. 30, 35. What the fuck? And then it's Why? Be back, it's gonna be back to the original sixteen. When it first came out, it was sixteen. From, right. From what I saw, it's saying. They made some other adjustments, and but they never told us about it, and nobody ever said anything about it, basically. So, they're, they're basically doing is changing it back, it sounds like to me. Yeah. Um, 
fucking dirty. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't bother me either way. I, I survive with what you get, you know. About anyway, so. Yeah, hundred um, percent. That's it. Bag needs a bag. Don't need a bag if you got a good vest. One hundred percent. So eighty-five playing lazy he nails it. You can survive without the bag. Um, Gillies do it all the time. Right now, it's only shirts, vests, and pants. Says Victory Bam. Also, I'm mixed about that. I hope they just don't change backpacks. I feel backpacks are pretty balanced. I pr I agree with that. I Thank agree. You. Backpacks are, are pretty balanced. Um, a, a rework's not bad. We'll see what they've got involved. It's very hard to comment on, I suppose, storage size. We all want more storage. We all dream of the 1,000-slot backpack, um, especially, <laughs> especially the base builders and loot goblins. You'd be able to walk. That's it. <laughs> it's a giant fucking backpack. Carrying the whole base with you? That's it. Just got a mobile base, <laughs> yeah. everything. It got the car and everything. <laughs> um... I mean, why not? Yeah, hundred percent. Why not? That's why not? that's where I put that. So it's it's like you know, with the community servers that that are being ran today, you know, it's like, why not? That's it. Let me be let's a snail. Let's have a thousand slot back. Let me back be a slot, snail. Back, backpack. You know. <laughs> um. Um. Bags with uh, maybe some gun with some attachment slots. That'd be cool. Different t attachment slots with bags. Maybe mm -hmm. um, you know taking the the guns off the back and putting that on the bags. Uh, I think that'd be pretty good. I think I think having two slots of guns on your back and taking it back to the original um, is definitely the way to go. Uh, not that they're doing that, but I think that's what's needed. Um, this one's a big one. They're limiting the visuals on actions. So you will now only get a 270 degree view range instead of the 360 view range for when you'll say drinking water. So oh. third person, first person, doesn't matter. So um, that one I can sort of demonstrate because as you drink water, you can look right behind you and especially with the right backpack, you can keep an eye on your behind you. Now you'll be limited to just looking sideways like this and this. So you won't see no pesky, freshy sneak up behind you and give you a stab in the back. Yeah, finger up the bum. That's it. Lord. Yeah, well, I didn't like the 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 look of it anyway. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I hate looking at your empty head socket. You know, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you doesn't make sense. You don't, yeah, like the look at your <laughs> empty head socket. No, I agree. <laughs> I, I I agree. I, I don't think you should be um be able to to roll through it like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, people can force fed. And they can't be force feed you from behind anymore. Oh, they can't force feed you from behind. <gasps> Hello, Mr. D Sniper. Oh well, that's good. What? Oh yeah. I guess they can't put food in the back of your head, so it kind of makes sense. That's it. But if they're well, doing, they can try. If they're doing that, <laughs> they'd better fix the infected being able to slap you yeah. when they're facing the opposite wrong way. That that drives me up the wall. Mm. That's good. No, so I guess when it comes to no forcing people, meat. how does it feel that you'll be able to kill people now with the, uh, the hot food? <laughs> so you get to cook. Uh, it's temperature-wise, you can sit there and just feed them red-hot human meat and cook them. Yep. And then cut them up because they'll be nice and hot from the hot food you just gave them. Yep. And, and then use them the as little heat packs on your body. Oh, yes. <laughs> or test that if you feed them enough hot human meat, Will it increase their meat temperature when you cut them up? Mm -hmm. So many experiments to do. So many experiments. Actually, I know it's a little bit, uh, if you don't mind if I just interject here, because there's actually a question and I'd like to ask talk about experiments. I don't know if this is a known thing or not, and I just don't know it, 
uh, yeah, a little bit, a little, a little bit off topic, uh, just quickly. <laughs> uh, tri trip wires. People have been saying <clears throat> that you can uh, crouch through a trip wire or slow walk through a trip wire. Is that true? Yes. And are they looking at fixing that? Because no. that sort of defeats the purpose of having a trip wire. Well, the idea of a trip wire yeah, is right. run, running through it in, so, in fast speed to trip over it. But if you crouch and slow walk through it or even crawl, mm -hmm. you can get through it without it you setting it. it off. You're right, I didn't know that. Or roll. <sighs> roll, apparently. When new mat drops, I'm going to jump on <laughs> console. You can roll through the tripwire? Uh, oh, no. No, no that was old dude sniper. He's going to have a roll with you guys. He's going to come to console, old dude sniper, when uh, the new map comes <gasps> out. Yeah, come on, Bish. That's it. Let's go. Come with the starving crew we need for a, to put in the... a snow map. Yeah, we need someone to put in the uh, volcano. Yeah, I think that's where <laughs> that's where it's. Um, um, Plain Lazy says it best. I suppose when you're walking over it, you're stepping. You know, you're stepping oh, over you're stepping the wire. The the crawl I can't understand, and the crouch I can't understand, because you mm -hmm. know you. Well, what I guess you, the crouch is like a slow walk. But how are you stepping over it? That's very awkward to step over. And how are you, what are you, crawling under it? Like, and yeah, maybe. Doing the old back shuffle to try and scoot your way under? I'm free of the wires. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks. That was bugging me out all week. That was my... Yep. That's the, the, the question. The experiment for the week. Should now, we know already, but... Too much information in Daisy to keep it all. Mm -hmm. Glass of water, man. Kick one back with the old fam. Yeah, you're more than welcome to come and join us when the new server come when the new map comes out, which uh, also confirms that it'll be at the end of the year. So, uh, at the end of the year, they will drop the new map. Well, obviously, the next update, 1.27. Now, the predictions of 1.26 all down the drain. People jumping on that early. Um, I like to see those videos. People are like, oh, the next thing in DayZ is going to be this, this, and this. And then when it comes out, they're like, nope, nope, and nope. But, yes, that was the, the little rub down of the dev stream. Anything that I missed, anything you want to bring up? Oh, Plain Lazy says, what about the bear trap? If you can walk can through a bear, walk trap, a bear no, trap? No, I think it's pressure pr plate orientated. So it doesn't matter what you, you can't do with it. slow walk and step over it. No. Need to go get uh, ask the scientists to test that out. Bobby! Very silent Bob. <laughs> he likes to go test out that crazy stuff. Uh, all right, well, if that's um, crawl on your belly, no, nah, it still happens. I've seen someone get a bear trap to the yeah. face. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. So I know that Definitely crawling. Cool. Nope, we tried that, didn't we, bruv? Bear trap to the face. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Noted, 100%. All right, well... <clears throat> Uh, just a little heads up, this will be our very last run of zombie bowling. We will be ch oh. changing it up next week for a new style of ending game. Um, Green's been working on something. Um, Does it involve M4s? Because I'm not going unless there's an M4. <laughs> uh, M4s, <laughs> keyboards and salty children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> They're my sigmas. That's it. So can we get everyone down onto the deck? I'll get uh, Mr. Lemons, Brandon, and, of course, Mr. Bigfoot to grab yourself a, uh, a Humvee. Uh, and we're going to try oh, and knock down as many as possible. If you could join this, come this way. If you hang yourself over the edge, you can see the <laughs> Humvees down oh. there on the roadway. Just down this way. It's almost like you're half invisible, like I can't see you. 
I don't know what you're talking about. That's it. <laughs> I've seen the, invi- the the Invisible Man. I don't want to point out your he disability. Go, he starts to go ah. nuts. I'm all inclusive. I'm all inclusive. That's it. <laughs> that actually looks really fun. <laughs> so what you do with the awesome. zombie bowling is grab that yourself is a humpy awesome. and pull it up to the platform. Active oh, camouflage. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, that was cool. Actually, Lemon, there's been a call out on TikTok. Who, um, I tagged you, and I don't know if you saw it, but people want a, a, um, a how-to video on it, how you do that. Oh, how to go this way? <laughs> how do you go invisible? Yeah, yeah. They how want do you an instructional video all your junk in your shit? TikTok. How to. I'll make it happen. Grab yourself a Humvee, and you can see where the other Humvee is located over there. Wait, 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 before you get in, um, got to put a bag on your head. That's it, just pull up here. You stand and look at the seat. Ride yourself up with some of the infected. That's it, come up this way. All right, I'm gonna put. Okay, you lined up. You got little legs. <coughs> oh, got a little right, we go. fast talking. Now you gotta line you yourself up at the edge. Line yourself up with the yellow infected that are down I'll the hill. Oh. oh, lemons. All right. Look at yeah. That's it, and then jump out. It's so now you jump out of your car, turn around and face your seat, so you get, you get the um, get in uh, indication, and then bruv will just... You got that little X there. That's it, so you can see where you're jumping into. I'll put a sack on your face. That's it. <laughs> Chuck it in. I'm just going to put my sack on your face. Ready? Hold still. That's it. Now there press X to jump in the car, and you'll see the indicators Oops, of the sorry. cars. And now the idea is to kill as many infected blindfolded until, of course, you can't move anymore. Uh, drive it till you're dead. Um, if you find that you're driving and not going anywhere, get out and we'll re-kick it off. So ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Bruv, you're going to have to keep an eye on who's who to keep an eye on who's killing stuff. Yep. And off okay, you go. So we got Brandon Lemons. Oh yeah, all right. Yep. Yeah, go, go, yeah, go, 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 go. You're right. Yeah, celebrate. Oh. 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 <laughs> One down there. Brandon, doing it like we've already. Or he's already done it before. Oh, Look at him go. two. Let's see, get him in reverse, bro. Doing the old bruv. circle tactic. Let's see, get in reverse, people. Get in reverse. That's it. Yeah. Oh, you're doing great, Bigfoot. You're doing awesome. You're nearly there. You're so close. <laughs> That's it. Oh, another one's gone. Brandon's got Ooh. three. That's yeah. it. Now forwards. Brandon banging it like he's, yeah. Oh. There he goes. Four. Now look at the stream, Brandon. That's <laughs> it. Oh. oh, lemons, one. Actually, I think you've got that other one, too. I think he's got two. Oh, oh. You oh. Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you deserve that. You deserve every yeah. part of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a sack. That's all you can see in this car. Just yep. a sack. Oh, there's a hand. You're doing great, great lemons. You're almost there. That's Keep it. Keep going. Just accelerate. A little bit more. <laughs> All right, we got Brandon there. Now put it in reverse. Oh, that's it. Now drive forwards. Dead sp- straight. <laughs> yeah, go straight. Yeah, go am straight. I, am I no, no, no. He's still <laughs> no, going. No, not at all. Yeah, you're going well. You're just doing circles. Yeah, you're doing awesome. <laughs> I'm going through kilometers an hour. <laughs> that's it. Doing absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Are you in there with me, bro? Oh, <laughs> you're in there. 
Bigfoot is taking the wind so many oh. uh, so far on how many how many walls you can hit. Facts. Yep, there's number five. <laughs> if, I, if, if, I, if I'm stuck, can you push me? Like uh, I put in neutral? Yeah, we'll try. Yeah, yeah sure, put it, put it in neutral, <laughs> yeah. Put it <laughs> I'll give you a push. Oh, wait, I can. Wait, how is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. we pushed two from both ends, are we? <laughs> no, oh, you yeah. wedged. You wedged, lad. It's just you have to get out. All right. Oh, Bigfoot's gone. How the fuck did I do that? Yeah, well, that's what we want, though. <laughs> I did <did't> that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think uh, that's a first for zombie bowling. <laughs> 100%. Yep. Brother, do you want to go grab Bigfoot? <laughs> Upside down, Miss Jade. Upside down. He's on the right there. He's on the right there. Just give him a sledgy. <coughs> All right, Lemons, go get your second car. Good. Yeah, you got... Okay, you got most wall kills. That's it. Most wall kills. More wall kills. Do you want to go grab yourself a second car? Okay. And bruv, because this time, this time, because we're there's only two of us, we can't push them all. We're gonna let them have yeah the ability to drive. Ooh, okay, yeah, a little bit of uh, a little bit of bumper cars. A little, yeah, the bumper cars. Don't you? Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> You hit that, guys. It's a free for all. You That's can have it. some bump car action. A little bump car action. Oh, sabotage is happening already. That's it. Please, please leave other ve people's vehicles alone. Oh shit. That's it. Yeah, pull it up yeah. to the line. Bring it in, Bigfoot. Don't so be. stay in your cars. Yeah. This time you can you can drive no hood. Brandon's up with four. Others zero, so here's your opportunity to redeem. <laughs> Take as many infected no, no, out got two. as you can. Lemon's oh, Lemon's got two. So Brandon four, Lemon's two, Bigfoot yeah. ready to score. All right, three, two, <laughs> one, go. Many as you can take out. Yeah, be as savage as you want. That's nice. That's Lemon's straight into Brandon. That's it. That's love. It's going for the hug maneuver. Ooh, there's one. Oh. For lemons. Oh. oh, they've all got one each, I think, oh. at the moment. Oh, two, two for Brandon. Oh. Three for Brandon. I think Bigfoot's out. I think he's caught one explosion. He's out. Oh, lemons going yeah, again. Yeah, he's unkind. Oh, that's lemons dead. I think I think that's Brandon there. He's not he's not moving that fast anymore, bruv. Alright, I'll, I'll go take my axe down and just Chop see if they up. need me to rescue yeah, them, yeah, cut yeah. them out of the car. That's it. The jaws of life, <laughs> bruv. The jaws of life. Cut them out. Go get the jaws of life happening. Well, I think that means uh, officially that Mr. Brandon won. And uh, that's going to pretty much wrap up our podcast show for the week, ladies and gentlemen. You can always come and join us. Uh, if you want to come and punch on, uh, we're going to be here for the maybe 10 to 15. Um, the server's called Nadbor Quarry Deathmatch, which is what it does during the week. And the password is capital L I V number six uh yep here's our winner right here the legend um they say what do you win uh a poke 
but that's our show done and dusted. Yeah, come on, bring it on. Oh, listen here, Pokey. Oh, he ducked it. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's it, so we're gonna uh, probably bash the shit out of each other for the next five minutes. So come and punch on, but that's our show done and dusted. I'd like to thank our uh, temporary panel. Uh, <laughs> Smiley's got a gun who's on the ground. Oh, Brandon and Lemons, and of course our guest, Mr. Bigfoot being in the house, coming along, being a great sport. <laughs> Oh, that one's taking me out. 